where tonight for the first time you will hear from a juror in the Casey Anthony trial. In an exclusive interview, this woman, previously known only as juror number three, gives us a first-hand account of the secret deliberations that led to yesterday's stunning verdict. Jennifer Ford is her name. She's 32 years old, training to become a nurse. And she tells us the first vote in that jury room was 10 to 2 for not guilty on first-degree murder. And tonight she takes us inside those deliberations. Why? Why did you and the other jurors acquit Casey Anthony of murdering her daughter? Um, there wasn't enough evidence. There wasn't anything strong enough to say exactly. I don't think anyone in America could tell us exactly how she died. If you put even just the 12 jurors in one room with a piece of paper, write down how Kaylee died, nobody knows. We'd all be guessing. We have no idea. So it's cause of death that was a problem? How can you punish, for, punish someone for something if you don't know what they did? The prosecution wasn't able to give you a solid enough picture of how Do you Kayla see that died. picture? <laughs> I have no idea. What it, like, they didn't even paint a picture for me to consider. You think that this might have been an accident, that you might have drowned in the pool? You believe the defense on that? I'm not saying that. I'm saying it's a lot easier to get to that conclusion. I can, I can walk from here to there and make it happen. But the chloroform, I'm all over the place. I have no idea. I'm in a maze. I, know, I don't know where I'm at. I don't know where the end is. I don't, I'm not even quite sure where I began with the chloroform. So I can't get from beginning to end, A to B, to see what even happened. Hmm. I can't make it work. When you all went to deliberate this case, were you unanimous from the start? Or no. Oh, no. Really? No. I mean, a lot of people, I mean, I don't know. I don't really want to speak for everyone else, but there were a lot of conflicting um, ideas. And some people were like, you know, I feel like she did, but there's just not enough to substantiate it. Some people were just like, no, she didn't do it. Like, they have nothing. They have nothing for me to even have any idea what happened. And um, I did hear someone say, you know, we're from Pinellas County, we didn't have that emotion and that whatever. That means we have no bias. We're just looking at the facts. And the facts, when you don't have that emotional connection, they don't prove anything. Like, I'm still confused. I have no idea what happened to that child. There have been people who said you only deliberated 10 or 11 hours, and that shows you weren't serious. Oh. That you didn't really look at the evidence. It's a 31-day trial or whatever it was, 33-day trial. They say you must not have looked at the evidence. That's, um, that's speculation, and you know what? Speculation is not fact. Um, we had a lot of discussions. We started to look through stuff, but none of it, how did she die? If you're going to charge someone with murder, don't you have to know how they killed someone or why they might have killed someone or have something where, when, why, how? Those are important questions that were not answered. That gets to Casey. Right. 31 days, 31 days that she does not report the death or disappearance of her daughter, and right. she parties. Right. And people say that's that looks, evidence that she mm, is a killer. It looks very bad. The behavior is very bad, but bad behavior is not enough to pr prove a crime. It's, what did it tell not. you about her? Um, well, if you consider the whole family, um, they didn't really live in reality. They wanted everything to be happy and everyone to be fine. Even when she, in the jail video, she came up smiling. She looked happy. She's in jail. Do you think that's how she really feels? I'm guessing not. Did you believe the defense accusation that this was a family that had incest in it, that Casey mm -hmm. had been molested by her father or brother? I have nothing to substantiate that. So, no, I, I mean, if that you don't prove no it... That played no role in your deliberations. No, if you don't prove it, I'm not going to just, because I hear it, no, that's not, a, that's not a factor. What did you make of George Anthony's testimony? He did not... He did not help the state's case. Why? Um, because he was clearly dishonest. He was and dishonest? Yes. How? Um, well, he was evasive, number one. Um, his story seemed to change depending on, like they said, initially he was on the defense's side, so he would you know, fight with Mr. Ashton and not give straight answers. But then he, he switched to the prosecution side, and then he, now he won't give the, the defense straight answers. It's all, what do you mean? And, and, and uh, can you ask a question again? And I don't, you know, like... Clearly, you can follow a logical conversation and respond. Like, he acted like he just couldn't understand what was going on. It was, you, it was clear to me that he was just being difficult. He didn't want to answer questions, and if it didn't help the prosecution's case, he was going to try and just, I, I don't recall. With do him. you believe George Anthony had something to do with what happened to Kaylee? I don't know if he had anything to do with it, but I think he, he was there. Him and Casey have something... And um, like uh, the, the jail videos again, she, 
her mom has all the questions and George sits there and you know pats his wife's back and and then he's like do you have anything else you want to tell me he's not like what's going on you know he's he's always like a step back hands are clean not too close I want to get back to Casey because she's been the focus of so much attention and right it was her daughter so Casey lies yes, and she lies does. again and then she goes out and she leads the high life while her daughter is dead right People say that is evidence that this person was capable of killing that child. Even if that's evidence that she is capable, it doesn't show that she did do it. Do I think she's completely innocent? I mean, I have no idea. I don't have the evidence to say one way or another. I'm not going to accuse her of killing. I have no idea, but we'll just say some something happened. At some point, she probably needed medical care, or at least there could be some attempt, some attempt to save the child's life. That was never made. Hmm. That bothered me. If it was an accident in the pool or wherever, how did the child end up in a swamp months later, mm -hmm. rotting away? You deny it, you get rid of it. You don't look at it, you don't think about it, it doesn't exist, it's you, gone. You, you push cover it out of your up mind. a murder. That's what the prosecution said. It was You're covering cover up something. It's not proven that it's a murder, you're covering up something. It's either an accident or, I mean, nobody knows what it is. I'm gonna press you on this. Go, go for Duct it. Duct tape on a baby in a bag rotting in the woods. Most people look at that, they put two and two together, they say that's a murder. Well, in our country, unfortunately, we have to prove it. You can't just be like, yeah, that really looks bad. Smells bad, looks bad, I get that. It does, smells bad, looks bad, I get that. But it's someone else's life, and if I'm wrong, and I kill someone else, I can't live with that. When you're in court as a juror, you have certain responsibilities. Correct. You're here now. Do you think Casey Anthony might have killed her daughter? Again, it's a possibility. I don't know one way or another. If gut feeling, like I said, I feel like she had something to do with it. I don't know what, and I, I don't think it's fair to speculate. That's how if I feel. If you feel that she might have killed her daughter, a lot of people might say, how are you going to sleep at night? I'm going to sleep just fine because I had, in this country, that's, that's our constitution. I applied the law. I did the best I could. I tried to make it work. I was reaching. I was trying to, you know, like I said, if they're all three there and no medical attention is given, then that's, that's um, what's it, culpable, neg culpable negligence, failure to provide safety and medical care and things like that. I was trying to go for that. But there's just not enough. It's just stretching and reaching, and there's just not quite enough to get there. How emotional was it to be a juror in this case? I mean, there were quite a few people when we got back after the verdict was read. We were in tears. Why were you crying after you handed down a not guilty verdict on murder? Not guilty doesn't mean innocent. How do you feel about that, that you may have let a woman who murdered her own daughter walk off that charge? It doesn't feel good. It was a horrible decision to have to make, but I had to do it based on the law. One thing you hear among the people who followed this trial is that they wanted justice for Kaylee. Was there any justice for Kaylee here? the way our system works you can't just you can't I don't I don't if there was a way to give Kaylee justice if if that's what happened I'd, you have to prove to what happened and then I, I'll, I'll give Kaylee justice I can't just do it because I can't I mean we could, it's not how it works when you left the courthouse after your verdict and you found out the national international reaction <laughs> anger fury People calling your names. Yep. What was your reaction? My reaction is, why be mad at me? The prosecution had to prove it. Why is it my fault that they didn't prove their case? Like, I, if you give me the evidence, I'm happy to, you know, return a verdict, a verdict accordingly. But if it's just not there, I'm not going to speculate. I'm not going to be emotional and just charge somebody. I can't do that in good conscience. How much did the fact that this was a death penalty case weigh on you in the course of the trial and in your deliberations? Well, it weighs heavily. It's pretty, it's, it's the ultimate, it's the ultimate, like, it's as big as you can get. It's someone else's life in your hands. So if, if they want to charge and they want me to take someone's life, they have to prove it. You have to prove it or else I'm a murderer too and I'm not any better.